Hey guys, welcome back to Luke's Goldies. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about a little change, a couple little changes in my system I made because last night I found a little bit of ammonia in my water. I did a little water test uh, around, let's say eight hours after doing a very large volume water change. And I found like above 0.25 PPM of ammonia. And you, if you find any, like when you, do the, when you do the test for ammonia and you see any kind of green in that tank, that means you gotta act quickly. Now, it's not super uncommon to, to find a little bit of ammonia in your water maybe after a large volume water change, um, but if you do find over 0.25 ppm ammonia, uh, that means you should really change something. There's something in your system that's not working uh, very optimally to reduce that ammonia level quickly. So I made a little couple edits in there and I'm gonna share those edits right now on how I'm basically gonna help get more water uh, filtered and more ammonia removed from the system at a faster rate to prevent any ammonia spike like that ever happening again. Because when I started seeing that little bottle, like the ammonia test bottle turn a little green, it's supposed to remain yellow at zero PPM, but I saw it tint a little green and go like basically a little bit over 0 0.25, 0 0.25 PPM ammonia. I was like, okay, here we go. We got to change something. So I, I made some changes. Let me show you. Okay, so we're in the greenhouse now, and it's a little dirty because I, I just I just made these changes now, uh, and I did dose a lot of prime in there. I dosed Seachem Prime, so the ammonia stuff de is detoxified right now. Um, but basically, when the water goes in through these two holes, uh, I have this one here that's that's above because this one kind of pours out at a faster rate. But I also reconfigured this one to go basically through that pipe and into a hole in the bottom of this bucket. So basically, this water is going down in, and then we'll have to flow, it goes, flows into that bucket, and then flows up. So now I'm getting a lot more water flow through that filter media right there. Before, I just had both these pouring in here randomly. But now, immediately after this water leaves here, it's going to go at least half of it, or almost half of it, to this one, and flow up through that bucket right there. So that's the first edit I made to help get more water through filter media to more effectively remove the ammonia. The second little edit I made is before I just had this water going down, uh, like w with no pipe. I basically had it pouring in directly here. And the problem with that is you're not getting as good of circulation. A lot of the water, it is going down, but not, not as effectively if you had a pipe just that, that was bringing it directly down. But I didn't want to have a pipe sealed bringing it directly down because if the pump were to fail, it would back siphon and it would siphon this entire tank out. So I didn't, want, I didn't want to do that, but what I did to, to, to make that possible is I made a little hole there. So if the, pump is to, is, if the pump fails, instead of siphoning this entire tank out, that hole will stop the siphon. So now basically, I have, I have that water and the majority of the water is, is going all the way down, so now I'm getting a lot better circulation in the system. The water's coming in, it's going all the way down to the bottom for the most part, and then going up to here to get removed. So that little edit basically makes better circulation, better uh, removal of this water and pushing it down into, the, into this next system. So that's my second little edit, having the water, instead of just going right there, I have it go down. My third and my final edit to the system, which is probably the biggest one, is I basically created a bunch of mini, like three of them, three of these giant five gallon bucket, uh, I guess almost like air pump filters. And I think someone on my YouTube channel recommended this to me uh, a while back. And I was thinking, you know what, I, I think I might do that. I never got the chance, but now I'm, I'm realizing, oh yeah, I really should have done that right immediately. Um, is I have these air stones in here, and I put the air stone at the bottom of this bucket. And I put all these filter rocks, I put all these, all these, uh, this filter media, these lava rocks, over that air stone. So now the air gets pumped down in there. And then the air bubbles go all the way up through the rocks and it brings water flow. And that air and the water flowing through those rocks brings a lot of circulation through them and is going to basically remove ammonia. As that water circulates through, the bacteria on those rocks will more effectively uh, eat up ammonia. So I created one, like basically five gallon bucket of it there, one five gallon bucket of the same thing over here, and then again, another five gallon pail of it over here. It's kind of hard to see these bubbles, but those are the bubbles right there. They like to group together. But I, I basically created three of these filters within a filter. This, this entire bottom thing like, is my filter. 
Um, but I created these three little things, and that will basically really effectively increase the circulation through this filter media and help remove the ammonia at a much faster rate. Um, and now basically with those three things, having the water flow through, through, through that filter media more efficiently, having air bubbles going through one, two, and three, like 15 gallons of filter media, and then also having that water go down to the bottom, I think the rate at which like the water is circulated and the rate at which water and air is circulated through the filter media has been greatly increased. I'm going to be monitor monitoring the ammonia level very closely. Um, but I really do think this this uh, this really helped my system uh, remove a lot more ammonia. All right, so this video was recorded a long time after those other videos, but I actually ended up putting four sponge filters uh, in this tank along with two air stones. So we have just two normal air stones there. But then we have one sponge filter there. We got one sponge filter here. Then we actually have two sponge filters over there all powered by that giant thing right there that is just uh, that air pump right there is just for two air stones in there so i had this other giant air pump which is supplying uh air to four sponge filters in this tank which is definitely helping to lower that ammonia level down and there's just a ton of bubbles a ton of bubbles going through this thing so i'm pretty confident that uh we'll definitely see no more ammonia in this system Okay, and a few words on what you should do if you ever have an ammonia spike. So the very first thing you should do is, I hope you have Seachem Prime or Seachem Safe on hand, because if you dose that into the system, that will immediately detoxify the ammonia and detoxify the nitrite, uh, and it just basically makes it a lot safer environment for the fish, because you don't want your fish getting hurt. Those things are extremely toxic. So the first thing you do is you put a little bandage over it. You say, okay, the fish are protected. But then the next thing you gotta do is you have to address the main problem. Why is there ammonia, okay? Yeah, you, made it de you, you temporarily detoxified it, but now you have to address why is there ammonia. For my system, I'm pretty sure that the way the water was circulating and the way it flowed through the filter media, I wasn't getting enough, uh, enough good flow through the filter media to effectively remove ammonia at a fast enough rate. And doing a large volume water change might have, you know, your tank sometimes, is, its ability to remove ammonia is slightly hindered after large volume water change. And uh, then I really noticed, okay, like now it's above 0.25 uh, ppm ammonia. I got to do something. Uh, you also might have ammonia just because your tank's not properly cycled. You might have good flow through your filtration, uh, but you don't have enough actual bacteria in there. Uh, in that case, just add a bunch of bottled bacteria, keep dosing prime, and just give it a chance, get, like wait a little bit. Um, but if your system's already well established, it might mean that you're not effectively filtering it that well. So make some changes, maybe add some more filters, uh, and you might be just, you know, that's all, might, all you might have to do. Uh, but still keep dosing the prime until you notice that ammonia level actually go back down to zero. Uh, but yeah, that's my little emergency thing, a little uh, bunch of edits I made in there, and a couple things for you guys to think about if you ever have ammonia in your system. Uh, increase the circulation of the system, and make sure you get a, a lot more circulation through the filter media itself that will help uh, more effectively remove the ammonia. Thank you.